Hey guys, another day, another car. So this one is the 1972 LJ Tirana being built by the guys at OC. Um, pretty much this is going to be the perfect street legal drag car to the point where the guys have made sure the lowest point underneath is 100 mils off the ground, please the cops. And um, all the fabrication work has been done to be the ultimate street car but then you can throw a few bits and pieces in and then it becomes the ultimate drag car. So I'll take you through, we'll have a look and see what the guys have crafted up. So up front, we've got the Troy Worsley built um, 434 small block Chevy motor. That goes down to the Turbo 400 gearbox and that's gonna be housed in a custom tunnel. But this custom tunnel has been built to suit the factory front and rear seats. Um, so pretty much the owner has asked to have the ultimate street drag car. He wants to be able to pile the family in, go for a cruise up or down the coast, enjoy your day out, but then he wants to go to the racetrack and be able to drive it hard. So, yeah, the guys at OC have done a really, really good job so far to make this happen. So as you can see, in the rear of the car, the custom floor pan and the parcel shelf have also been moulded to fit the factory seats. Continuing on with the family friendly vibes, the six point cams approved roll cage has actually been fabricated with removable side intrusion and harness bar for street use. This has all been built by Stephen and Tully at SDR Racing. The boot has also been beautifully fabricated to continue the craftsmanship found throughout the car and to remain functional of course for everyday use. Underneath the rear, we have the custom built 9 inch dip with 35 spine billet axles and 35 spine strange true track diff center. The rear has also been tubbed and the guards have been stretched to fit the 15 by 12 World Magnum double bead lock wheels, fitted with a 28 by 12 Mickey Thompson tall tire and running wheelwood brakes all around. OC always goes one step further. In this LJ, they have based the rear suspension on the factory coil spring setup, but it has been updated to 2017 geometry, so comfort and the overall ride is at its best. Basically, like our phones and nearly everything we rely on gets updated, so do our cars. What worked best 45 years ago doesn't necessarily work best today. So the guys at OC are moving forward with technology, putting this technology into the cars that they build. Now as for its appearance, it's going to be repainted and given a fresh new look with a new colour, but I'll keep that one a surprise.